Hello, my name is Larry Jones and welcome to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Hey, before we get started, could you do me a quick favor? Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. You're going to be glad that you did. All right, let's get right into it. Today, we're going to talk about seven beginner mistakes, seven beginner investor mistakes. These are huge. And these, these seven mistakes knowing them right at the front end, it's going to save you thousands of dollars and it's going to save you a lot of times and a lot of pitfalls and mistakes. Okay, let's get right into it. What I want you to do is I want you to get a pen and paper and write these down. Normally I would, I would just list them out for you, but it's something about writing it down that helps you to remember. And I keep my pad. I still have a pad of, 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 of 20 years ago when I would start writing down my disciplines. Okay, let's get into number one. Number one, all right, get stock tips from your beautician or your barber, okay? You must do your own due diligence and not get uh, stock advice from non-financial people. And unfortunately, a lot of us fall into that pitfall. Hey man, I hear that dot com, the dot com is good. You should invest in that. Oh, I hear that the pet rock is good. Maybe we should invest in that. I hear that's good. You literally have, now we already have four vaccines. Someone came to me the other day and go, you know, I was thinking about investing in vaccine stocks. And I'm like, mm, you may be a little late. So number one, watch who you get advice from, okay? That's never a good idea. It's gonna end bad for you, okay? It's not, it's not a good look on you. It's, 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 it's no sexy, all right? Number two, do your own due diligence. That lead, that's a lead off from number one, meaning do your own research. And I know you say, hey, I'm new. I don't know how to research. I'm actually working on something right now that's gonna help you with that. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this channel. And then just do some research. Use Google, use uh, Yahoo Finance, all right? Use some of these tools. Um, 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 I got some more stuff that I'm gonna be um, I'm offering you guys down the road on where to look, how to do your due diligence, how to study a stock, how to, how to study a company. So that's what you want to do. Never invest in something that you don't know what they do. Let's move to number three. All right. Investing all of your money into one stock. It's never, ever a good idea. All right. So let's say you put all your money into Tesla and the, 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 the plant that manufactures the chip has a fire and they shut down. All of your money is tanking now and you have some stock that will fall as much as $100 a day, over $100 a day, $200 a day, depending on the amount of the stock. So now you have all of your money into one stock or one sector or whether it be finances or whether it be tech, it doesn't matter or pharmaceuticals, never have your money, all of your money into one sector, let alone one stock. You want to stay diversified, all right? Let's move to number four, sell low and buying high. Humongous mistake that most beginning investors do. As a matter of fact, some people that's been investing for a while still do that because it's a natural habit. It's a natural reaction. What I teach is we need to be firemen. We need to run towards the fire, run towards the red. We need to be buying when people are selling. And then we need to be selling when people are buying. Sell when it's green, buy when it's red. If you do that more times than not, you'll make more money. Right. So you want to buy on the dips, buy when stocks are red and sell when they high. But do your due diligence and make sure it's a financially sound company. And that stock is going to be worth more tomorrow than it is today. Let's keep it moving. And number five, you want to be Johnny Day Trader and not invest. It is not good for a new investor and it's called investing in the stock market. OK, that's what it's called. So. For instance, you just want to come, you want to put $100 in, you want to make a million dollars tomorrow, and you're going to lose that 100. You want to put $1,000 in and make it $10,000 in a week, you're going to lose that 1,000. You put 10,000, you get it. You're going to lose it. 
What you need to be doing is both. Myself, personally, I'm an investor that is a swing trader. I'm not a day trader, though I do some day trades. Very minimal. I'm a swing trader, but I'm an investor that swing trades and not the other way around. Because my long-term investments are, are going to make me far more money than my swing trading is. And it's going to be more stable and steady, steady money. All right. There's something called parabolic moves. It's, it's like steps, right? It just goes up and up and up. And so that's why I don't I don't get scared when they dip. They going up because down here it's higher than when it started. He started here. And so there's stock that I've been buying here recently that I'm not thinking about selling until a minimum of five years. And so uh, I urge you guys to do the same. Let's keep it going. All right. Let's go to number six, panic selling and FOMO, panic selling and FOMO. Right. So what that means is, is when it goes red, you see you, you bought a stock at ten dollars and I would drop down to seven. You like, oh, my God, I got to sell. It's not the time to sell. And then what happens is you see that. And then you lock in your losses when you sell. That's panic selling. All right. Nothing fundamentally happened to the nothing happened to the company. It's still fundamentally sound. But you just saw the red and you panic and you ran. Right. Then the opposite of that FOMO. Let's take gain. Let's take GameStop, for instance. Um, um, a, 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 a few weeks ago, GameStop was down and there was no volume. Then GameStop ran up high again and everybody started buying and they should have been doing the polar opposite. Then, of course, it fell down. and A lot of people lost their money. People were going to the bank, getting bank loans and, and putting it in on GameStop at the high. And then it fell and a, a lot of people got bankrupt themselves. All right. So don't have FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out and don't panic sell. As a matter of fact, a lot of times when stock fall, you should be doubling down instead of panic selling. All right. Let's move to number seven. All right. Investing in a stock without an exit strategy. You should have an exit strategy the day you buy a stock within reason. Now, sometimes it changes. Sometimes things change. You have some good news or you have some bad news. When you see bad news coming, you might want to cut, cut, cut out quicker than or exit sooner than you thought you would. Or you see a stock going up and you said, Hey, I'm up 70%. I'm going to pop it right here. And they come out with some great news. That's going to run it up higher. Then you have room to expand your profits. Understand what I'm saying? So, but you should have an exit strategy. And as a matter of fact, here's another hint. The lower the cap stock, meaning if it's a if it's a hundred dollar stock, that's a high cap stock. But if you, if it's a five dollar stock, that's a low cap stock stock and it's more volatile. Right. It's actually technically a penny stock. But then there are penny stock that are worth literally pennies under a dollar. Those are the most volatile stock. And you want to make your profit margin smaller on that. And soon as you make your profits on that, you cut and you run because most penny stock go up and then they crash. So you want to take your money and run. So let's go over it again, just in case I missed one. All right. Number one, get stock tips from uh, your hairdresser or your barber. Number two, you don't do your own due diligence, meaning you don't study. Number three, investing all your money into one stock. Number four, selling low and buying high instead of buying low and selling high. Number five, you're trying to day trade only and do no investing, meaning you're not thinking about financial freedom. You're not thinking about generational wealth. You just want to get rich. I'd rather be wealthy. You be rich. Right. Number six, panic selling when things go wrong. All right. Never do that. And six point five is FOMO, fear of missing out. Don't chase a bull because a bull will turn around and mow you down. Right. Bears make money. Bulls make money. Hogs are fit to slaughter. All right. And then number seven, you don't have an exit strategy when you buy the stock. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave it right there. But here's one of the things I do want to tell you that is a bonus. I have a link below. It is a Webull link. Webull is a trading app. If you deposit $100, the link is below in the description. They will give you two free stock worth up to $1,850. Now, here's what I want you to do. Listen, listen closely. I don't want you to spend that $100 right away. What I want you to do, Webull has what we call paper trading. So you could take paper money, just like Monopoly money, within the Webull app, and you can invest in the real stock market. So you're not, you're not gambling with your money because that's what you're doing when you're new. And you're playing with the house's money. It's actually not even the house's money. It's paper money. It's play money. It's monopoly money. And then you could see how it reacts in the real stock market. You could see your gains and your losses. Then when you get a grip on it, then you could start with your own money. All right, good people. The link is provided below. Webull. I hope that this has helped you that are new. If it did, if you learned one thing, leave me a comment below. And like always, if you see any comments below that talks about a WhatsApp, that talks about here's my phone number or talks about talk to my broker. It is not me. It's spam. Don't fall for good people. But you want to stay tuned because I have more information that I'm going to continue to bring you guys. OK, as in always, as I close out in here with Stocker with Larry Jones, we are all known as family. This is my family and my family out there. They give some great stock picks for you guys also. So read the comments. All right. Hey, love you guys. Live, love, laugh and learn.